Hi everyone, Nick Russo here. This video describes a comprehensive study plan that I've deployed to help you pass the Cisco Service Provider Core or SP Core exam. The plan also serves as a strong base for the CCIE Service Provider exam, but it does not cover all of those topics. The resources in this plan are either free or available on Pluralsight, which requires an inexpensive monthly subscription for about four months. The plan is technically diverse, as it includes content from several sources and authors. My personal contributions make up about a third of the content. Let's quickly review the 16-week plan. The first two weeks focus on technical refreshers. You should first watch my Tier 3 ISPs course, which covers OSPF and BGP routing, redistribution, basic MPLS Layer 3 VPNs, and AAA. After that, you'll review technology-specific labs on all of those topics. Also note that I have mapped the SP Core and CCIE Blueprint topics in these columns to help track your progress. In the third week, you'll begin the official SP Core training and work through more MPLS and BGP labs. This process continues into the fourth week, where I also introduce self-study. As a general rule, whenever you complete one of my SP courses, I recommend rebuilding the topology and exploring it for about four hours. This will help you solidify those topics and refine your weak areas. The fifth week focuses on carrier architectures and is not very hands-on, but the sixth week introduces IS to IS, segment routing, and Layer 2 VPNs. This includes Layer 2 Operations, Administration, and Maintenance, or OAM protocols, and content on these topics is pretty hard to find. Week 7 laser focuses on MPLS traffic engineering, both the RSVP and SR variants. This also includes centralized PCE and BGP link state designs. Before advancing to the large-scale MPLS architectures, I dedicate week 8 towards BGP labs. You shouldn't advance until these intermediate BGP technologies are fully mastered. Weeks 9 and 10 introduce inter-AS MPLS, multicast VPNs, seamless MPLS, and carrier supporting carrier. These are core topics you'll want to study carefully. Week 11 focuses on security and application control, as well as protocol optimizations. Although automation is not a huge topic on these exams, you do need to be moderately proficient, especially with model-driven programmability and telemetry. That's the focus of week 12, and I recommend several DevNet learning labs to help you study. Weeks 13 and 14 are designed for refinement rather than learning many new technologies. They cover minor topics like link aggregation, QoS, fast reroute, and innovative BGP designs. I also recommend reading my free service provider white papers as they describe unique and complex designs that cover many of the blueprint topics. The last two weeks are meant to be a final review. You should rewatch the entire SP Core learning path at Pluralsight to soak up any additional details you missed the first time. On balance, this entire period should boost your confidence heading into the exam. I recently passed the SP Core exam using only my self made content, which is why I'm confident I can help you as well. I blogged about my exam experience here. I promised that this plan would not require any expensive resources but I will mention that I've partnered with other experts to deliver a CCIE service provider bundle, which includes a 3,000-page textbook and a lab workbook. If you're studying for SB Core, this expense is unnecessary, but for CCIE candidates, I would strongly recommend it. You can download this plan in the video description and email me with any questions you have. Head to my website at njrusmc.net for more details study resources, and technical content. Thank you.